Hi, I'm Chris Needham, Talent Development Coordinator with US Speed Skating, and we've put together a series of videos to help you get lower. In these videos, we'll be featuring our head athletic trainer, Karen Ashwaya, and national team coach, Ryan Shimbakuro. We're gonna be looking at different things like how to warm up, how to increase flexibility, how to be stronger in position, and then after you're done in that position, how we can work our body so that we're not over-exaggerating anything and being really safe. Before we get started on our workout specializing in getting lower, it's really important that we spend some time warming up. But warm up isn't just simply a jog around the rink or a little bike ride on a, on a spin bike. It can really be a great opportunity for us to build in some body awareness and build in some cues that we'll be using later on in the workout. It's gonna be really easy for us to take an exercise like running and turn it into a stationary um, exercise and warm up for us. So let's start just by running in place. And as we're running in place, we're gonna start getting our body temperature up. We're gonna start raising our heart rate, raising our respiration, but now we can start building in cues that we'll use later on. So with getting low, the biggest one is gonna be getting our hips down. So as we're running in place, let's start sinking our hips down as best we can and keeping the running up. And then let's bring our hips up and as we play with these variables of where our hips are, we're building in those cues that we'll be using later on. Another great variability we can add in when running in place is bringing our feet wide, bringing our feet narrow, so they're right next to each other, and then trying to find that neutral ground where it feels best for you. Another variability we can look at when we're doing our running in place is messing with our toes. So we're gonna do two different things. We're gonna pull our toes up towards us, towards the sky. That's called dorsiflexion. Then we're gonna point our toes down and come up on our tiptoes. That's called plantar flexion. So let's run in both ways, see which one feels better. We'll start with plantar flexion on our toes. And now switch, pull those toes up and run on those heels. Now you're dorsiflexed. Hi, I'm Karen Ashraya, one of the athletic trainers that work with the national speed skating teams. In order to get low and optimize your skating position, it's important to look at flexibility and optimal length tension relationships of your muscles to really get into that best skating position. We're gonna go through a couple of different exercises that can help you get as low as possible and then improve your performance at the same time. One exercise that you can do to help yourself get low is mobility and working on the soft tissue of your feet. So any ball, it can be hard or soft. A little give is kind of nice, but rolling your foot and really putting as much pressure as you can, and it'll depend on what type of ball you're using or what surface you have to how much pressure you can put. But rolling your each foot for about two minutes can actually improve your flexibility of your whole posterior chain. So there's some research that looked at rolling your foot for two minutes and then did a sit and reach before and after and the subject sit and reach improved after rolling their feet, foot. So doing this every day while you're watching TV or brushing your teeth can help your whole flexibility of your entire leg. This next exercise is about opening up the body after skating position. We spend a lot of time as speed skaters hunched over, tight hip flexors, tight chests. And this exercise is to get you out of that position to help balance the body, prevent injuries, and, your and improve your longevity in the sport. The first exercise we're gonna go through is different cobra variations. So the first one that's simple is a sphinx, just here pulling your chest through. And if that is easy and doesn't cause any issues, you can go start to go into a wide cobra, arms wider than your shoulders, pushing up and holding, relaxing through the low back, stretching at the pelvis, and the belly and the hip flexors. Holding this for about five to 10 seconds, lowering down and then pressing back up. Doing about five to 10 times based on your comfort level. If you have any pain in the low back, then lower and go to a uh, less severe position. Hi, my name is Ryan Shimabukuro, US National Sprint Team Coach for Long Track, and here to talk to you about some exercises to help you get lower, more effectively over these next few videos.
Before we talk about the actual individual exercises that we're gonna go through in this video series, I wanna to talk to you guys all about quality versus quantity and the effectiveness and how you wanna apply yourself into doing these exercises. Now in the beginning, you're gonna start off with doing uh, these exercises in a shorter duration. You can start off with anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds at a time, but try to do a lot of repetitions in the highest quality possible. There's no point in starting off at a time frame that is so long that you can't do them effectively. So my philosophy is that the technique will always come first in doing that properly. And then the strength and conditioning will come behind it. So in the beginning, maybe you can't do an exercise for a minute straight. So again, you start off at about a 10 to 20 second segment, rest for about 30 to 40 seconds and then you do it again and you do a lot of them you do as many as you can until you can't do them effectively anymore i can always say like you can start off with three to four sets of 10 uh 10 reps of that and then slowly those amount of sets will start to decrease as you increase your time so maybe you start off with 15 seconds you're going to do three sets of 10 with 45 seconds rest and then the next time as you get stronger you're going to do let's say 30 seconds and you're going to do two sets of 10 and so forth so you're going to extrapolate your quality longer and longer as you get stronger and stronger Okay, so we're gonna start off with the two leg basic position, which is the key essential for an effective skating. Uh, uh, effective skating. So uh, essentially you wanna keep your body relaxed and keep your core engaged. And as you uh, squat down into the two legged static position, you wanna try to keep your body weight even between both feet, slouch your lower back, as you compress down, push your knees forward, keep your head in a neutral position. We always use the term of looking through your eyebrows, only about five to 10 feet. You don't need to have your head cranked up and looking completely down the straightaway, just a few feet in front of you and making sure that your center of gravity is running through the arch to middle ball of your foot, the front ball of your foot. You don't wanna be up on your toes. You don't wanna be too far back on the heels. You wanna be compressed straight down like a spring coiling up and harnessing that energy Energy below your feet into the ground and once you get effective and strong and comfortable in the two-legged position you can advance your movement to a one-legged position and you just have to make sure that again when you're in the two-legged position your your body weight and your center of gravity is going to be distributed equally between both your feet but when you shift to a one-legged exercise in that position you need to shift your center of gravity over so it's supporting directly over that one leg as you compress down. What I would recommend is you start in the two-legged position first, shift your body weight over to one side, and then lift up your free leg. And then you can do that back and forth just to make sure that you're stable. And you wanna try and make sure that you're keeping your connective joints, your ankles, knees, and hips very solid. You don't wanna minimize uh, the wobbliness that you'll probably experience in the beginning and then get, get it to the point where it's completely eliminated.